what is good everybody welcome to another week of this comic talk podcast i'm joined by ben from the dc tv show yet again thanks again ben for coming along yeah no problem good to be around yeah People love talking about yeah TV shows and films and you know. yeah it's very good yeah so if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll leave ben's link I'll leave Ben's link to his channel in the description so you can go and check out his channel and subscribe to his channel too. And also give a like to this video as well because it will help out the video a lot. Okay, so let's get straight into this week's podcast now. I want to talk about what we've been seeing so far in Elseworld. So this week we've been getting a lot of, we've been getting a ton of set photos from Stephen and Grant about the Elseworld crossover and I want to go over one specifically that involves John Wesley Shipp in the original 90s Flash suit from the 90s series. So Ben, what are your thoughts on the 90s Flash officially joining the Arrowverse, essentially? Um, I, I was just super excited. Um, I think this was like the first time in a while that I actually like shouted out loud, like, holy shit. I actually like shouted out loud when I saw the picture. I just, um, yeah, I'm really excited because I love all the things we're getting, especially with John Alexi Ship. Everyone, everyone remembers back in season one when they teased the 90s Flash when he, Barry was running back in time. You know, when you saw Supergirl, where you saw Barry in prison, and you saw John Wesley Ship's version of the Flash from the 90s. Yep. So this was like, this was a moment for me where I was like, yes, it's finally happening. This is going to be awesome. Super intrigued. Yeah, that is, that's true, you know. Like, you bring up a good point where we saw... John Wesley Shipp's 90s Flash in the Flash season one finale. Like, I remember that, but I kind of forgot it at the same time until you just brought it up. But yeah, I never yeah. I never thought that they would actually bring him on in the Arrowverse. But I, I, when I saw that, I thought that was just a fun little Easter egg. I didn't think they would actually do it. But, you know, five years yeah. later, you know, they're actually doing it, which is mind-blowing. Yeah, agreed. Um, I'm just, I, when I saw it, I was shocked. I was like in shock, but also like so excited at the same time because same thing. I was like, when they did that back in season one, I was like, okay, just like a nice little nod, you know, you know, a different version of the flash, but now it's happening. That's just so exciting. I think seeing all these different versions, like Steven playing a version of the flash, we got Grant doing it. And then we got the nineties one, like it is super intriguing. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, Hmm. Do you think he's going to be in all episodes or just maybe the Flash episode? Uh, I think he's only going to be in like a very minimal amount of it. Probably just like half of the Flash's episode or something along those lines. Hmm. I don't think it's going to be anything too big, but like big enough to, you know, for them to actually create this costume because if you didn't know they created a new costume for him in the style of the 90s one it's just a little bit upgraded yeah of course they could because i highly doubt they would have kept you know an exact original version of yeah. the suit for all these years so yeah definitely it's, it's definitely new but yeah i i think that I don't know. Yeah, I think that he's just going to be in the Flash episode. I don't think he's going to be in Arrow or Supergirl because because from what we've seen already in the set photos, there's just a lot of there's a lot going on as it is. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to spend too much on the 90s Flash. So that's why I just feel that he's going to be in the Flash episode. And speaking of the speaking of so much going on in the crossover. So we have a black suit Superman. So what do you think about that? The black suit Superman? DC TV actually got to the black suit first before the DCEU. That's funny. Yeah, yeah I know. Um, I was, same thing, I was like, wow, what is going on when I saw that? Um, I think what's going to happen is, obviously, we've had set reports that there is black suit Superman, then there's, then he's actually fighting the normal Superman in his normal suit. That is according to some people from the set. So, most likely, this is two different versions of himself, probably from another Earth, as Elseworlds suggests. And I think the black version, the black suit version of Superman is going to be sort of like an evil version. I know there's iterations like 
the death of Superman where he wears the black costume, various other ones where he does. But I think this is going to be like the CW's twist on, you know, maybe just a different costume. Because if you remember back to last year's crossover with Overgirl, what they tend to do is they give the costume a darker twist to it. And I feel like that's what they're doing. And he's probably going to be one of the villains, in my mind, what I'm thinking right now. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Like, for me... I don't. I personally don't think they're gonna be doing the evil doppelganger thing again since they literally did it last year. So I, I think something else is going on. Even though I haven't, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I, I don't think it's gonna be an evil doppelganger thing. I could be wrong, but you know. But I just feel like because it was done last year, I don't think they'll do it again this year. That's just the way I feel. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree with you, but I do think there is doppelgangers. That I think that's we know that for certain right now. But I, I don't think it's going to be like exactly like last year. I think there's going to be a, a different twist to it. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Uh, so, yeah, sticking with the crossover, what do you think is going on with Barry in the Green Arrow suit and Oliver in the Flash suit? Um, same thing. With the title being Elseworlds, it suggests, like, in the comics, Elseworlds is these different offshoot stories of the comics, and... They've done that with, like, the animated films. There's been, like, Gotham by Gaslight, which is one of the most famous Elseworlds stories. Um, and so I think what they're doing is incorporating these different Earths. Maybe we'll go to these different Earths. And I, I do, in fact, think either... I think there's two possibilities. It's most likely they're from another Earth. Their roles are just reversed, right? I think that's the most obvious one. Or another one could be that somehow with the villain maybe they've twisted their personas or something and you know it's, it's switched around i don't know something like has gone on to do with the villains that is like a more abstract idea but yeah. i think the easy one to do right now like to say is these are just doppelgangers from another earth you, you see my I, m what i take from this my idea was something similar to the second idea that you just said with where the villain had something to do with it where they switch personalities or something like that because if you recall on to, onto Stephen Amell's Instagram post when he posted the very first image of him in the flash suit he said my name is Barry Allen and I am the fastest man alive so that's me that's making me believe that maybe um Oliver and Barry they it's them, but they switched bodies somehow. Yeah, yeah. That's what I yeah, think. Actually, yeah, actually, yeah, looking on. back at that post, yeah, it, it leans more towards that, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I think is going on. I don't think it's a doppelganger. Yeah, I, don't get me wrong, it could be, but I just I don't think it is. I think they switched, they've switched bodies. It's still them, but, you know, it has something to do with the villain. That's what I think anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so... Moving away from the crossover, now we're going to talk a bit about The Flash, especially episode three, which is, of course, the recent episode. So, of, obviously, there's something going on with Nora. Like, there's, I think, even Sherlock Wells has established that. He established that Nora's working with someone and she's definitely hiding something. There are theories out there that she could, in fact, be the reverse Flash. Who knows? But I want to know what do you think is going on with Nora? Um, so I've been thinking about this and I think there's two options. I don't think it's reverse flash. I don't, I don't think they'll go with that. Yeah. They've done different versions of reverse flash and, you know, I, I think it's not going to be that he's Nora. I think that's a bit cheap if they do that. Yeah. Um, I think there's two possibilities right now in my mind. I, th I think one version, the easier one to go with, is say that her twin is helping her because Nora is Dawn Allen that they've adapted from the comics, right? I think that's the easy option to go with, that he's been helping her. Or, in my mind, yes, it's a bit more abstract, but I think it's more interesting, is the way she reacted to Sherlock saying that at the end of the episode was very very similar to like how she did with iris back in season four it was that very blank face and i think it could be that someone is in fact pulling her strings from the future someone with more nefarious intent than nora i think nora is good 
I have to establish that. I think Nora is not evil. I don't think she's bad. I think someone in the future could be telling her, could have told her to change that specific thing in order to change this on purpose. I don't know. That could be reverse flash in the future. Don't know. But I think that idea could be possible, and I think it's a bit more interesting than, say, you know, her twin told her to go to this point, because why on earth would her twin tell her to go to that point and change it and not be there when if it's someone who is more evil or who has a badder intent you know they would say go to this specific time maybe they've got something on her or something along those lines so i think is perhaps a bit more evil than it may seem i kind of agree with you there she's definitely working with someone from the future i think i think everyone can agree with that um the question is who my take on this i think that she's working with future iris that's what i think she's working with future iris and that is why she seems distant to present day iris that's why she's reluctant to you know you know commu- even talk to present day iris so i think there's definitely something going on there i think iris or future iris maybe forced her to go back in time to change certain events like you said um you know like i don't know exactly what's i don't know exactly what is going on but that's just an idea that i had in my head so what do you think about that yeah yeah Yeah, i i think that's possible i actually didn't think about that it could be that iris is the one saying you have to change this you know it, maybe your life would be better everything would be better in the future that could be a possibility i do agree that's a good possibility yeah i just didn't think of it at the time um yeah um i'm just leaning more towards the evil kind of badder intent because i find it more interesting in my mind mm-hmm. but i don't know if it's more like if it's more likely to happen or not okay fair enough like for me okay like the CW, they're known for usually taking the easy way out. They because they t- they tend to do that a lot. So, which way do you think seems more like the easy way out? Do you think? Uh, the easy way out is probably to do the twin twist. You I think, think everyone's expecting that? You think so? Hmm. But. Hmm. It hasn't been established that she has a twin yet, but then again, they could be just yeah. se- they could just be keeping that as a secret, so you never know. Mm. Yeah, but I don't know about the because tw- we, yeah, she has a twin in the comics. Like Dawn, of course, is Nora Allen in the TV show, but Dawn in the comics has a twin. I know that, but mm, I don't know if they're gonna do that in the show. That's my because I feel that they want to just keep it simple. That's the way I think. That's the way I see it. I don't think they just. I don't think they want to overcomplicate it and make it have a twin. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But, yeah. but anyway, so sticking with the Flash, regarding Cicada, do you think he will be the season's big bad? Like, do you think he's gonna be the main villain for the entire season or just the first half of the season? Um, what they said, what they're doing this season is they're doing a different style of season. It's going to be that, in fact, um, it's more, there's three parts of the season, they said, rather than two parts of the season, um, that I, I don't think Cicada's going to be the villain for the entire season. I think he'll be it for about up to the mid-season. And then with them saying there's going to be three stories, you would think there might be three villains, but I think there'll be one overarching villain with different stories intertwined with that yeah that yeah that's that's the way i see is going on like literally a few hours ago i uploaded a video about cicada and in that video i was talking about whether i think cicada is going to be the big bad or not and i said that no i don't think so he doesn't seem like a big bad to me in my opinion he doesn't seem like he can last the full season so yeah but I like what they're doing with the three part thing because what that is exactly what they did or what they have been doing since Agents of Shield season four. Have you seen Agents of Shield before? Only a few episodes. Okay, you should watch season four and season five because they are two of the best seasons of 
any TV of all time. But yeah, anyway, that's what Agents of Shield season four. They had three parts to this to that season. So in the first part of the season, it was Ghost Rider. That was the first. That was the first half of the season, and then the 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 first half of the second half of the season. If that makes sense, um, they were focusing on. What were they focusing on? Yeah, LMD. That that is a life model decoys. And then in the last half of the second part of the season, they were focusing on alternate realities, basically. And all of those stories came together. If that makes sense, they like it, it was three different stories, but yeah. they all came together to make one giant story at, by the end of the season. So I definitely can see the flash doing something similar to that and it will definitely be interesting to see their take on that three part because for me agents of shield season four is one of the best seasons of all time so and obviously they had that three part overarching you know story so i definitely want to see flash do something like that because it will i feel that it will benefit them and also it won't be stick to one specific storyline all throughout the season we're going to change it up throughout the season to make it interesting so that we don't get bored so yeah i definitely think that this is the way they should go yeah so let's move on to arrow now so how do you think oliver is gonna get out of prison i'm sort of uncertain right now i i feel like he's gonna stay in for quite a while i I think he's gonna be into like episode seven maybe I would hazard the guess. I think it's going to be quite a long time, but I, I don't think he's going to break out. I don't think he's going to do that. He's done that, or Diggle did that before, I don't remember. Um, and he will just be on the run, and I, I think it's going to be... I don't know. I think there might... like What was the reason why he went in prison? The reason why was because he was the Green Arrow. I feel like there's going to be some explanation maybe to do with Diaz, like if they capture Diaz or something. Um, I don't know. I feel like there will be a, a way for him to get out that isn't escaping prison. I don't know. That's just my my take. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in agreement with you. I don't think he's going to escape because if he escapes, he's going to be on the run for the rest of his life. And I don't think the show wants to do that, you know, for the entire, for the next, however more seasons they have. But yeah. I think um what's what's the lady that put her in put him in the jail in the first place? I can't remember her name. Amanda. Sorry? Amanda. Yes, that's it. Yeah, I think it's gonna have something to do with her. She's probably gonna help him get out. She's probably gonna realise that he need like for Diaz to go down, he probably needs to come out maybe i don't know i don't it, it's a it's a it's a tough situation like i don't know I, I actually don't know how they're gonna do it but it's a tough situation but yeah anyway so out of supergirl arrow and the flash this this week which episode do you did you enjoy the most because for me i haven't watched black lining or or legends yet this week but i'm gonna watch them soon though but i haven't watched them yet so out of supergirl flash and arrow which one did you like the most um so i watched the flash arrow supergirl and legends um i think definitely the flash was my favorite and then i would say what would i say then then i would say legends and then i'd say arrow then i'd say supergirl okay like i've noticed that you're not you've not been a big fan of supergirl this season I just haven't been a fan of it. I, you, everyone, a lot of people have been getting mad at me because I haven't been loving it as much as the past, and that is only because the writing feels really sloppy and the way it's and the way everything has been put together feels like it just hasn't gelled very well. And I, I feel like the past seasons did a lot better job at incorporating like the political stuff into the story and it feels a bit more um like put on the edge like it's just tacked on after and i i feel like there's not too much story actually going on apart from like agent liberty and that's about it and most of the stuff is just 
speeches throughout the episode and i have to say i personally agree with basically everything they're saying but it's just not written right in my opinion and it just kind of drags the show down because it feels like a scripted thing rather than like something you're actually watching if you I understand get, yeah i get that so yeah i get that i get that so you, you feel that it, they're trying to shove the message down your throat kind of thing something like that you think um, yeah something along those lines not not that they're trying to push the message like down your throat i think that they're, they're trying to do the message but they're just not blending it enough well right now they could they could amp it up it could be better i have faith but i just feel like it's not like it's not the story's not working right now basically okay so how would you do it then how would you go about writing supergirl this season think i know a lot of people have turned away from season three but i think season three was the perfect example like they had the political things here and there uh, but they had a really intriguing story of rain and they had the legion and you know incorporating a mix of both like of proper really nice well-told story with the political ideas put it together mash it together i think season two even did a better job i know a lot of people didn't really like season two because of the politics but i liked it a lot more than what they're doing in season four i feel like season two actually kind of worked a bit better although there wasn't like much super go action in season two it was mainly Kara. um the way that it was done and written seems a bit more natural so i think what i would do is just write it a bit more natural like you're actually speaking rather than you're writing and then the characters and then the actors just speaking the lines essentially okay fair enough i get that okay so regarding with me i think well regarding with the original question which was which episode did you think was better i'm gonna answer that with i think it is between arrow and the flash um, hmm, I'm not Supergirl because I like I said I haven't watched Legends or Black Lightning yet. But regarding those three, Supergirl will be my least favorite for this week. So first and second, I don't know because I really like both of them. Like this season, the Flash season five, already I'm liking it way better than I liked the Flash season four this time last year. Like I feel like season five is definitely gonna be better than season four well well, it looks that way anyway it looks that way to me but yeah regarding this week i don't know maybe i have to give it to arrow well i'm that's probably because i'm a bit biased to arrow because arrow's my favorite obviously but yeah probably have to give it to arrow (laughs) Uh, um i i really like arrow episode one um arrow this week for me I didn't like it as much as episode one, but there were some, like, a lot of elements in it that I really enjoyed. Overall, it was, like, a, a really, really good episode, but I didn't really like the Felicity sort of Argus stuff all that much. It felt like they, they kept on, like, repeating things. I loved the Oliver Prison stuff and the future, like, Roy scenes. I, I thought they really worked, so... I just thought the Flash's episode was like a really solid episode overall. Yeah, that like, for me both of them were pretty solid to be honest. With you, both of them, but yeah. Um, so what would you rate each episode this week? Of like five or. Um, I I usually rate them out of ten to be honest. So. Okay, out of ten. Um, out of ten, I rate the Flash like a. Like a nine point five. I I thought he was just like really excellent. Um, for the Flash. Uh, I th- it's my favorite episode this season so far, and I've loved every episode. Um, and then I rate Arrow like a seven out of ten, and then I rate Legends uh, like an eight out of ten. Uh, I rate Supergirl about a six out of ten. I think this oh. this week. Okay, six out of ten. Okay, so with me, I would rate both the flash and arrow because i think they were neck and neck for me this season this week so both of them i'll say maybe eight out of ten yeah something around those lines uh supergirl i'll say 6.5 out of ten 
Yeah, yeah, 6.5 out of 10. But yeah, anyway, I was going to talk about Daredevil this week, but I'm deciding I'm going to save that for next week because I am literally in the middle of watching se- like episode 6. Like Before we start recording this, I was in the middle of watching episode 6. So... I'm going to talk about, we're going to talk about Daredevil next week and a bit more Marvel stuff next week. So, yeah. So, that wraps up this week's podcast. It was mainly DC TV. So, hopefully, next week we can talk a bit more about some Marvel stuff along with some DC TV stuff as well. But, yeah, anyway, thanks, Ben, for coming on along on the podcast again this week. No problem. Uh, be here every week. Yeah, every week, hopefully. So, what do you guys think about the yeah. topic? Yeah. So what do you guys think about the topics that we discussed today in this podcast? Share your thoughts down below in the comments. Like I said, if you want to subscribe to Ben's channel, I'll leave his link in the description and give this channel a subscribe as well. If you haven't subscribed already, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and I'll see you guys later for more videos.